the entrance antiphon. The Lord is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage and govern them forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Nehushta, daughter of Elnathan of Jerusalem. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, just as his forebearers had done. At that time, the officials of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, attacked Jerusalem, and the city came under siege. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, himself arrived at the city while his servants were besieging it. Then Jehoiakim, king of Judah, together with his mother, his ministers, officers, and functionaries, surrendered to the king of Babylon, who, in the eighth year of his reign, took him captive. And he carried off all his all the treasuries of the temple of the Lord and those of the palace, and broke up all the gold utensils that Solomon, king of Israel, had pro provided in the temple of the Lord, as the Lord had foretold. He deported all Jerusalem, all the officers and men of the army, 10,000 in number and all the craftsmen and smiths. None were left among the people of the land except the poor. He deported, he deported Jehoiakim to Babylon and also led captive from Jerusalem to Babylon the king's mother and wives, his functionaries, and the chief man of the land. The king of Babylon also led captive to Babylon all 7,000 men of the army and a 1,000 craftsmen and smiths, all of them trained soldiers. In place of Jehoiakim, the king of Babylon appointed his uncle Matatan, king 
and changed his name to Zedekiah. The word of the Lord. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O Lord, O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. How long, O Lord, O Lord, how long? Will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then I will declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoer. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rains fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rains fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord in the Gospel, speaking to his disciples and to all of us, reminds us that we are to Listen to our Lord's words and then act on them. Put them into practice in our daily life. Sometimes our human weaknesses challenge us in um, putting those words into practice. Sometimes we battle against uh, temptations to 
to live what the world calls us to live. Yet the Lord continues to call us with his word to be faithful to him, to turn away from what is wrong, what is sinful, and to follow him. In the, God, in the first reading from the second book of Kings, we hear about how the Babylonians came and conquered uh, Jerusalem, Judea, carried them off captive, carried them off captive because they had not listened to the words of Jeremiah the prophet. Jeremiah had said, you people are sinning. If you don't sin, there's going to be a nation come in and capture you and take you off. They liked their sin, and they continued sinning. And then the Babylonians came in, and what Jeremiah foretold had taken place. The Lord's words are very true and very accurate in the word of God. We're called each day to enter into a daily conversion of heart, to allow the Lord to his grace to work in our minds, our heart, our souls, to be lived out in what we do. That our Holy Father and all bishops, priests, and deacons will joyfully and effectively proclaim the grace of God that brings us salvation, we pray to the Lord. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, and for the governments and people of the world, that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. For our president, Congress, and courts, that they may carry out their duties with reverence for God and his unchanging law, we pray to the Lord. That God, who rescues the life of the helpless, may enable us to rescue children from abortion, the sick from euthanasia, the criminal from capital punishment, and the poor from starvation. We pray to the Lord. That Christians who are persecuted for their faith may grow in the courage to acknowledge Christ in the presence of others. We pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for McKenna Ketter, and for our own intentions, united with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, we add in silence. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear and grant these prayers, which we ask in union with the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our, vo our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign, forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion for those who are watching on the internet. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat>